Good morning. Today is Sunday, March 5th, 2023. We have uh, one birthday with a few cards, a couple cardless birthdays, which we will get to. And let's look at our event scroll and see what we can come up with. On this date, 1972, A.J. Foyt won the Miller High Life 500 at Ontario Motor Speedway. Of course, uh, that seemed to be A.J.'s playground for a little while. And the started early on, they started these races three abreast as Ontario was nearly a carbon copy of Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Let's scroll down our list a little bit further. Looks like 1983, Dale Earnhardt won the Coca-Cola 200 at uh, Rockingham. And this race is on YouTube. That's where I've seen it for the first time. There is a brutal crash at the end of the race. Bubba Nissen kind of has an accident similar to Michael Waltrip's Bristol crash. Uh, Bubba did break his leg in that wreck. <coughs> Excuse me. Moving on. Rusty Wallace. Uh, the other day we talked about Kyle Petty winning the Unical bonus at Rockingham in 1990. Well, on this date, Rusty Wallace won the first one in 1989. He won the, the first race at, at Rockingham that uh, had the Unical bonus. Of course, the Unical bonus was not won at Daytona by Ken Schrader. So the $7,600 rolled over to another $7,600 and became $15,200. So that was a uh, little, little more uh, additional winnings to Rusty's championship season in 1989. Just kind of looking at the other races... A few Las Vegas races. There's honestly not anything popping up here that really screams this was a big event. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and move forward with the birthdays. We've got a couple cardless ones I talked about. I don't have cards of these guys, and I don't know that there's very many that even exist at all. Born on this date in 1995. Uh, he raced a few Xfinity Series races last year, and has been an IndyCar driver on and off for the last several years, Mr. Sage Karam. Also, born on this date in 1996, Truck Series regular, Austin Wayne Self. So we will have uh, one card birthday today, and it's not he does not have very, very many cards, as he only had a short career in NASCAR Cup, or, or Xfinity in Trucks, I'm sorry. Born on this date in 1985, Mr. Cale Gale, and he was kind of a, a, a Harvick KHI driver for quite a while, so you'll see some cards here with all the different sponsors and numbers and teams that supported Harvick in his different, uh, different venues in NASCAR, so I'm, I'm looking for the KHI logo, it looks like it's there on his left shoulder, but all these sponsors were in numbers that you see were associated with KHI back in the early 2000s, mid-2000s. Like, that was, uh, I remember Hornaday running a VFW truck. I'm not sure what Kale Gale does today. He is named after Kale Yarborough, NASCAR champion. So there, we do not have many, many cards of Mr. Gale. He did win a truck series race. I can't remember the season that he won it, but it was a photo finish with Kyle Busch, and he just kind of uh, was just one of those ones that even though he was a development driver and a pretty good one, things just didn't work out. Well, I don't know if I've done this set review before, but like I said, when we only have these minimal uh, birthdays, I do like to try to do set reviews as well. So from 1996 Press Pass Premium, we have the Crystal Ball set. As you can see, it's a nice die cut set, and I'm going to set these off camera so that way I'm not we're not sliding around all over creation. I'm going to start off with Johnny Benson. The front has the driver. The back has the car. These are really nice cards. I really like these. Up next, we have Ricky Craven. Of course, it's going to be the Kodiak car, which they didn't censor out, which I'm happy about. Thank you, Press Pass. Up next, Dale Earnhardt. The Goodwrench Chevrolet. Then we have uh, Bill Elliott. Of course, many of you probably have heard that uh, Chase Elliott will be out indefinitely due to a broken leg. Up next, Jeff Gordon. Early DuPont colors there. Jeff was just in his fourth full season in 1996. Ernie Irvin with a, looks like a Daytona qualifying race trophy. 
his teammate that season for the first time. Robert Yates ran two cars. Dale Jarrett, Quality Care Ford. Bobby Labonte, who was entering his second season at JGR. He had three wins in 1995. I believe he only had one in 1996. That race at the season's end where his brother Terry won the championship. Bobby run the race. Terry won the title. And they ended up doing one of those cool victory laps side by side. We have Sterling Marlin, who's recently on the Dale Jr. download. Talked about his career. Got a couple more cards in the set, and we'll call it a day. Mark Martin, Valvoline Ford for Jack Roush. And our final card is Rusty Wallace. And that is the card that uh, Brad Kay did the really super awesome throwback of a couple years ago at Darlington. So there's a good look at the original. <clears throat> Excuse me. As you can hear, I'm still fighting just a tiny, tiny bit of the back end of the sinus infection. I feel much better. So, looking forward to uh, getting back to normal life. And, of course, earlier this morning, you've seen the uh, flea market find videos from that awesome flea market that we found in Ohio. And we probably we were there for two hours, and we've seen probably... 50 maybe 50 percent of it so like i say we'll definitely be going back there hopefully by the end of november or uh, april because they give us a free parking pass it only costs two dollars to park but hey two dollars would have bought me more cards right so anyway thanks again for watching make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button today's race day enjoy the race i'm not sure what time the race starts today so this probably is dropping about the time the race is starting so Anyway, go watch the race, come back and see us here, and come back every day and, and see what we have unpacked for you. So thanks again for watching, really, really do appreciate it, and we will see you tomorrow.